Basharun Dele Momodu recently declared his interest to serve his fatherland weeks back and he says without mincing words that he is qualified for the position. On account of age, I'll be 50 by the grace of Almighty tomorrow. Just tomorrow, I'll be 50. Happy birthday. So, thank you very yes, much. Yes, we'll celebrate so, that. At that age, I think I am qualified. Mm. Number two is that I went to school. I went to good schools. I have a first degree in Yoruba studies. I have a master's degree in literature and English. I'm the only Nigerian I know today who has been able to combine both. Number three is that I was a teacher. As, at the age of 22, 23, I was teaching A-level Yoruba and literature in English at the Ohio State College of Arts and Science. At the age of 23 to 25, I was working as a private secretary to a former uh, deputy governor of Undo State, Chief Akramo Buriwo. At the age of 26, I was working for one of the most popular monarchs in Africa, the honor of Ife, about Kwande Shijuade Olubuche II. At the age of 28, I moved to Lagos. I started living in Lagos for the first time at the age of 28. And the first job I got was with Chief Mashud Abiola, and I was working with Concord newspapers. I left Concord in 1990 to become the editor of Classic Magazine. I was the highest paid editor in the whole of Nigeria. You are talking of 20 years ago. Then thereafter, I left Classic and I started a business. I was selling bread. I was distributing Wonder Loaf, uh, which was owned by Chief Abiola. Thereafter, I set up a public relations outfit. And some of the accounts I, I was dealing with included that of Chief Abiola, Dr. Mike Adenuga, Akim Bilu Osage, and the rest of them. I'm the founding editor of Leaders and Company, the parent company of the most prestigious newspaper in Africa today, these day newspapers. I was the one who recruited most of the staff that started that organization, which tells you that my organizational ability must have been good enough for me to have been able to assemble a crop of journalists that will start the most beautiful newspaper around today. Then thereafter, I joined Chief Monsieur Dabiola on his campaign trail in 1993. And so I'm surprised that people who quarrel with someone doing showbiz. Who was Ronald Reagan? Ronald Reagan was an actor. Who is the most popular governor in America today? Mm -hmm. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. <laughs> Any time they are campaigning, showbiz, in fact, that is the biggest weapon we have today to liberate Nigeria. It's just imagine if you have the combination of the band, of Peace Square, of all our artists, our actors, and everybody, they will mobilize the youth. Seventy percent of our population are youths. Seventy percent. Those youths have never bothered to register to vote. They have never voted. They've never protected their votes. How do you ignore that segment? So to those who are saying Dele cannot do it because he's in showbiz, then it means that they have not studied other nations, how things turned around for them. If you look at Italy today, who is the prime minister of Italy? Berlusconi. He's a media baron like myself. How did Abiola make it? Abiola was a media baron. Abiola was heavily into showbiz. He had chieftaincy titles from everywhere. Abdullah was a global brand. And that's exactly what God has done in my life. Expectedly, Bashanu Momodu pitched his tent with the Labour Party. And he says education will be his first priority amongst others when he becomes the president of Nigeria. The first concern I have, like Chief Aulo, is on the issue of education. There is no nation on earth that can make it in this modern world if the education is in tatters like it is in Nigeria. Mm. I'm a product of Nigerian education. But today, I can tell you that it would take a very, very great patriot to send a child to school in Nigeria, which is one of the things I have done. I've sent two of my kids here. Well, they've always lived there. I've sent back home that they must learn because 80% of the people I know today, some of the things, the wisdom of the ancients that I believe I have today, I learned from home. So our education must be prioritized. Okay. That's, the, that's, the, that's the bedrock of anything. Anybody who says education, okay, then you will continue to have illiterates and hooligans in power. So that is my first priority. One, yes. On the issue of economy, God has given us everything. 
everything that you can think of in this life. But we chose one and chose to die with it, and that's our oil. Oil will finish. Gas might finish. But there are other things in Nigeria. So for me, we must now begin to direct our attention to those other things that God has given us. Agriculture. If you look at, I mean, as a, as a young kid, and uh, one of my role models, still today, was a man called Chairman Mao. And what did the trick for China? You can imagine the population of China. What did the trick was agriculture. The, there is no way. Once you have food, once you take, you know, food out of poverty, I tell you, poverty will disappear. So part of the problem today is that people even find, if you go to parties and you see people scraping tables, they come in carrier bags. I am always touched by this. So for our economy to thrive, we must go back to agriculture. We must go back to aggressive industrialization. We had great industrialists. Okoya, Eliganza, everybody knows about Eliganza. You, you know about Prince Samuel Adi doing All these people work very hard to produce but the Nigerian environment has not allowed their products to thrive. So how do you deal with that? Then the issue of power generation comes in. Mm. You can, there is nothing you can do about your economy if you don't have power. People have said, oh, why did you move your production to Ghana? The main reason is power, electricity. In my house, I don't have a generator. And I am dreaming. In fact, I feel so ashamed today that we keep saying this is impossible, that is impossible. But I know that that then leads me to corruption. Mm -hmm. Your economy will never thrive until you have a transparent leader. Is it because once a leader gets into power in Nigeria, the first thing they do is call the permanent secretaries, call their officers to say, please, uh, which areas are lucrative? That is why you find some people fighting for certain offices. In the uh, Labour Party all along, uh, that's the only party I've ever joined. I'm not cross capitalizing from anywhere. And uh, you must have principle. Uh, I don't like the idea of just jumping. If I'm going to move from one party to the other, then ideologically, the two parties must be similar. Uh, in Nigeria right now, a lot of people are jumping all over the place because they feel they will not be able to get the ticket from one party so they have to go to the other. As this global citizen celebrates 50 years on earth, the time has come to celebrate Bashonro Ayobamidele Momodu, the publisher who has succeeded in helping Africans tell their own stories, the showbiz personality who is committed to promoting the Nigerian entertainment industry, the journalist who contributed significantly to the growth of African journalism, the politician who steps out with a promise to deliver the dividends of democracy, and finally to the Democrat who gave his all for the enthronement of democracy in Nigeria. The <laughs> celebrating your 60, your 70, your 80, your 90, and your 100 until you get tired of celebrating. Many happy returns of the day and good luck. My darling brother, congratulations on your 50th birthday. I'm really happy for you. And I pray that you continue to be strong and be happy for the rest of your life. And I hope that in another 50 years, we will come around and celebrate another birthday just like this. Congratulations, my brother.
to you, Chief Daily Mama D. God bless you, God keep you. I'm glad to greet you, and I wish you great success, long life, and may the Lord bless you in everything that you do. Hello, I'm Tatiana Ali. Happy 15th birthday, Ovation Magazine. Hi, I'm Shani, and happy birthday to Chief Denny Mama. Chief Dele Momodu, happy birthday, happy 50th from the United States. Uh, may you continue in good health and strong spirit. Idu mari kujeng bai minu nebi Idu mari kujeng bai minu lola Ki Beating Momo Do Ulori Riti Jai Dele Padi Temi Ho Dele